got this on cam, man. Oh, he's pissed. So I'm down here at this public park. Got a lot of big fish in here. Uh, I'm gonna start out with a Texas rig yard sale yum dinger. hook and a tungsten weight. I really don't think the moving bait is the answer.
what's up? Uh, I'm just down here at Southwind trying to catch a fish and saw you text and thought I better answer. You're not missing anything. Yeah. It, it's all grassy around the, the edge. Around the ledge is about, though, I'm going to say 20 feet out, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's not as bad as Freddy's. You can get through it a little bit better, but, you know, it's still like that. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying out that Shimano rod uh, that I got for a dollar. <laughs> Pretty. I like it, man. I like it. A little bit different than... Six inches makes a big difference, man. Yeah. So. No, no, man, that's your rod. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, well, um, oh, good deal. It's, it's great, man, that's great. I've been praying for her. Yeah, I've been praying for her. No problem. No problem. Yeah, you take care of her and we'll get together on another day, all right? We got a lifetime to fish. All right. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I appreciate it. I'm just glad she's doing all right and, and doing better and, and getting to come home. All right, well, I'll let you go. You take, you take care of Mom. All right, man. Later. You too. Bye. fishing for you know anytime to take care of mom for right now all right so I'm gonna try this lipless I've got a little window here that I can get through see how that works out for me get some of this moss off, off the rod that I picked up the other day Right here where I caught that uh, four pound, 15 ounce trout back on Eclipse Day. Right in the very same spot. I figured you never know, I could maybe go out here and catch a giant bass. 15 pound test or to be able to get it up, you know, out of the water. Nothing else. I can go around there. This pond's known for big fish. So I don't know if it was just grass or fish that dumped at it. So I was out there to see it. I kind of felt like a fish thumping at it.
also got that white spinner bait that I can throw too. It's been doing so good for me here lately. Yep, there's one right there. Not a big one, but it is a fish. My first fish of the day if I get it in. Oh yeah, a little dinker. A little dinker will do. Yeah, we got a little bass. We'll take it. We'll get it as soon as we hit the water too. By golly. I'm good at catching these little guys. All right, so there we are, a little quarter pounder. Don't even think it's got any cheese on it, but you know. So just so everybody knows, this is my friend Derek. We met out here a couple times. Hello, everybody. <laughs> He's like, we just always have these little chance meetings. Yeah, it's always nice. <laughs> yeah, it is. You still got the same phone number? coming around to make sure this was you because I thought it was and uh, I threw out there and a big old bass took off. Unfortunately it didn't take off with my worm. You still driving to Bushnell on Sundays? Yes, sir. That's a pretty area over there. Come on, take it. I don't think he did. Oh, I guess he did take it. All right. There you go. Another one. The second fish on the dollar pole. <laughs> it just goes to show that people don't have to spend a lot of money to catch fish, you know? Exactly. In fact, you can throw a line out with a hook to catch some fish. Right, right. How you doing? A little bait fish. Well, he's pretty. Yeah, you'll see on the channel that one of my uh, one of my 
partners that I fish with, he uses big glide baits. Gets them from Japan. Oh, okay. The big ones. Yeah. Four ounces or so. Oh, he catches some nice fish on those. Oh, yeah. I have some big glide baits I use to catch some nice ones on, too. But I try not to use them when there's too many people around because I don't want them to know what I'm using. He, he's the same way. <laughs> He'll show them off, but he ain't going to tell where he got them from. Yep. You know? Same way. Nothing wrong with that. I was expecting you to pull on a big one over there when you first got out and you were fishing that corner. Yeah, I had a big one come up to me, but it just didn't take. It got too close to the grass and it just turned around and just slowly slammed away. I was like, you son of a gun. Don't you hate that? I think it was uh, towards the end of June last year. I was last week in June, I was fishing over there right in front of the building and uh, caught a, a 6-1 and a 5-12 back to back. That, that, that's worth it there. Yeah. I'm using a Texas rig. I don't do a lot of editing, so some of my some of my videos are long. Yep. And the reason I don't do a lot of editing is I don't I don't want people to assume that I'm catching a fish on every cast. Yeah. You know. That's but like yesterday, I I probably caught 15, so that one hour and 45 minute video I posted is going to give me like. 15 short videos, which is where I get all my views and my subscribers from. Oh, yeah. I don't know why that is. I don't know. It's just the way it works. Yep. Halfway tempted to go weightless. Yep. That's usually what I do. When I use a Sanko, I'm weightless all the way. Now, if I use a creature bait, I'll peg my my bullet weight down to the bait, and then I'll use it like that, like a a jig without a skirt. 
Right. Yeah. I won't use no no weight or no nothing on it. Just more of mine. Got some good distance out of that one. Have you tried the Berkeley Nessie yet? What was that? Berkeley Nessie, have you tried that yet? No. Nope. Oh, wait. Yes, I have. But yeah, this is all it is. It's six cents. It's a small little creature or fish bait with a, so when they bite on it, it's boom, there it is. Oh, wow. Yep. That's a six cents? Yep, six cents. And it just sits just like that. And then just the tail moves side to side and this stays straight. And you can, uh, seeing how I don't have it weedless, but you can make it weedless kind of like doing that. Uh -huh. And then you can literally cast out there with it and let it sink all the way to the bottom and then it'll sit like that. See how it's sitting? Right. And then I just slowly do it so it drags and the tail will move very slow just back and forth. That's usually what I do when I night fish though. Just because they're just slowly moving usually and then that's how I caught a, what was it, a five and a half down at that one pond on a lure four times the size. And all I did was went like this in a water drain, and I reeled it, and boom, nailed it. I was like, no way. <laughs> water drain, are you talking right there where you walk into that pond? Yeah, well, not that one. I went to the other one, because they have the one that comes in from the other pond, and then they have the one in the middle, which has all those rocks, and right. then on the other side of that one, the one that goes way underneath the interstate type thing. I haven't been down that far yet. Oh, yeah, if you follow that path all the way down, walk through the rocks up on the other side, there's a... I don't know, probably water drain like this wide, kind of like that one, but two of them put together. Yeah. And I just go right up in there, just that far, and I just boom and nailed it. <laughs> I was like, no way. I, I like that place. It's just a pain to get around sometimes. Yeah. Now if you walk down the uh, bike trail so far, you'll see a uh, like a sitting bench off. Got this on cam, man. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. You mind if I use this on the channel? I don't care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is going to be interesting now. Best I can help you out with is a pair of needle nose pliers. You want to hold, just hold the rod? Not really, but... <laughs> huh. Is that a diamond backwater snake? I don't know what it is. is that a, I just know he's not happy. No, it's not a cotton mouth. Here, I, here, I got some pliers in my back.